Catching word of a new bill, $7 billion for solar panels. Is it worth it? Well, let's just talk about the $7 billion first. $95 billion overseas, we got college student loan payoffs, and the billions of dollars, a $7 billion. When are we gonna stop spending money? Okay, so we have inflation is an issue right now, which is affecting rates, not just on houses, it's affecting rates on everything that you buy. Credit cards especially is killing people with over $3 trillion in credit card debt. Now let's go back to the solar panels. Do solar panels actually, and I know this is on a greater scale than just houses, but do solar panels bring value to your house? I can tell you that it does not, not to the amount of money that it costs you to get them. A typical bill in our area is around $120 a month. If you take that versus the payment for those solar panels, you're upside down. Most people live in a house five to seven years. So when you get five to seven years, you outgrow your house, you wanna sell it, you still owe on those solar panels. So does it give you the money that it costs you to get them back in equity in your house? Do you make that up? No, no. A house today that's worth 300,000 is not worth 320,000 with solar panels on it. A house today that's worth 300,000 is worth 300 with or without them. And a lot of times people don't want them. Plus you also got to factor in insurance. If you have them on the roof of your house, it might be a little tougher to get insurance. It's already tough enough to get insurance for a house. So do they make sense? Not in my mind.